<laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hey, so, everyone. So, Welcome back. So yeah. This is part two, dois, dois. Uh, of our first date story. So in the, in the last video, we kind of set it up. We told you guys, you know, what the what the like plan was. We were supposed to go to the beach with Moose, um, but I was asking him, what time do you want to like pick me up? And what did you say? No, oh, and I said, so what times work for you? And she said, oh, I will be free till 5 p.m. And she said, what time? And I said, I will pick you up 7 a.m. <laughs> We switched it to eight, I think. And nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. So I could sleep a little bit more. Yeah, because she said, oh, and, and then she asked me, why so early? And I said, yeah, because we can have a, a breakfast together. And, and I said, I ate breakfast at nine o'clock. Yeah. At so, nine, or nine thirty. And say, let's go to have a brunch. Oh, yeah, I love brunch. Yeah, I said, okay. So. And then yeah. I drove, like, mm, Pick her up uh, all the way in the hills, an mm -hmm. hour away to pick me up and my dog. So that's like the first thing I was really impressed. Like I came out, I said hi, but I had Moose on the leash. She was really excited to meet him, and uh, I had everything ready. Like I was like, okay, I'm going to the beach with my dog. This is my responsibility. I have his his water. I have his treats. I have his food. I have his toys. I have his harness. I have his leash. I have a sheet for the, uh, like a towel for the back seat. So like Moose's nails don't like scratch up the back seat. And I guess like, I'm going to have everything. And so I went to pick out my like towel from my backpack. I was like, Oh, I have, I have something to put in, put on like the back seat of your car. And he was like, Oh, I already, I already put it here. Yeah. Like I already have it. And I was like, Oh, so that's like the first thing that I think really impressed me. Mm -hmm. um, besides, once we like when we were texting in person, the first thing I was like, "Oh wow!" Like that's really sweet that he thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then she came, and then I said hi, but she was a little bit embarrassing. And I uh, like I was because I'm Brazilian. Like we hug everyone, we kiss everyone. <laughs> say hi, <laughs> but she like. I am not used to kisses, and yeah. like we do not kiss people like. Like, if I were to meet someone else on a date that was from Australia or from America, I'd, like, give them, like, a nice, like, side hug, say hello, nice to meet you. Uh, Brazil, and I'll say, hey, <laughs> mm, how are you, how are you, good. And then his, his face is so close to my face, and I thought he was, like, hitting on me. Like, I thought he was kissing me because he wanted to kiss me. I didn't realize that it was, like, a part of the culture. Yeah, because we hug and like you. Yeah, he, he kissed me and hugged me and I was kind of like, what the heck? And I was nervous, like I had never met him before. I thought he was really attractive, but like we had just texted and I don't know, I guess I felt like because we were texting for like a week, yeah. there was like a lot of like anticipation for like when we met, like do we get along? Yeah. And I was really nervous. I was texting my friend because I was saying, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in the car with him all the way to Sydney, like the city, and we're going to go to the beach, and then he has to drive me all the way back. What if I hate him in the first five minutes? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I just ask him to take me back home? Like, what do I do? So I was, I was really nervous that we weren't going to like get along, that it was going to be awkward, like something like that. Um, but it wasn't. It was pretty good. I was nervous because... You know, she's like English teacher, so <laughs> it's really hard. It's like, oh my God, she'll correct me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, something that he told me, like on the way to the beach. He said something about like, I'm nervous. I was like, why are you nervous? Like, there's nothing to be nervous about. And he said, you're an English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> So there, I mean, your English was, was pretty good. Like, we had a good conversation. We did. There yeah. were a few times in the day when, like, you would say something that was Yeah, like, because my pronunciation is really hard. Like, yeah. my, my accent is really thick. Yeah. Yeah, but... And I wasn't used to his accent yet, either. Like, 
I wasn't used to speaking. Like I grew up in Texas, which is close to Mexico, so I was I was used to hearing like a Mexican accent, like pretty regularly, but a Brazilian accent sounds very very different. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was not well, I was not used to that. Um, but just minor communication issues for the most part. We understood each other. We had a good time, you know. Um, so we went to the beach. We took Moose to the beach, and then I remember while we were at the beach, I was saying, oh, I feel bad, I can't take him off the leash, he can't run around, and then he said, oh, I know a dog park close. Do you want to take him there? And I was like, that would be great. Like, <laughs> like that would be so good. And so then we took him to the dog park, and while Moose was playing at the dog park, we kept on uh, like having a conversation. And then afterwards, he was like, oh, like, are you hungry? Like." Have you ever had Brazilian food? Like, mm-hmm. I can take you to this this place that has some pretty good Brazilian food. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm hungry. Like, and so then we went to eat and we had more conversation. I had broken my foot a few, a couple months ago. I was just, out, I, I was in a boot for a little while. I broke three, my, three bones in my foot. I was in my boot. And then I think the week before or two weeks before I went on this date, I got the boot off. So it was like my first week or two out of the boot where I was like in normal shoes walking. We had already walked around the beach at the dog park and at the ground of the grounds. We walked around and as we were walking around, my foot started hurting really bad. And I didn't want to be like annoying and be like, oh my foot's hurting. <laughs> Let's come back. Yeah. So I, I think I mentioned like a time or two like that yes. my foot was hurting. Um, but I don't think I made it like that big of a deal. And then she say, oh, I need to go back. And I say, oh, why? Because my company is not that good. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I thought she was giving an excuse to come back. No, but my foot was hurting and I teach English. Um, and I, I teach English from home and I had an English class that I needed to get back for. And so I said, it's it's, Time for Moose's dinner. Moose has been walking around this whole place. He needs to have dinner, and I didn't have his dinner with me. And then we decided to come back. But both, like, we are so exhausted. Oh my gosh, so tired. Yeah, so then we were driving home. I think I took a nap on the way home. <laughs> Did I? No, no, she went, but she didn't. Oh, I was probably not, not comfortable to take a nap. But I told you, like, if you want, you can take a nap. Yeah, but it's like my first date. Like, am I going to... What if I see them in my mouth up and drool comes out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would take a photo and post it this year. <laughs> but no, I didn't take a nap, but I wanted to. I was so tired. Um, and then when he dropped me off, I, I went to say bye. And that's the first time that I remember you kissing me. I'm sure you did kiss me the first time, but I don't remember it. The first yeah. time I remember you kissing me was when you hugged me goodbye. You gave me a kiss on the cheek and I was like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 when I say goodbye, I, I, I but I, I always tried like to kiss her on our first date, but I, every time when I like I say okay, now I will try, and she like turning walking because we were, <laughs> we were walking like in a park, and sometimes oh let's go over there, like and I was like oh maybe it will be a good opportunity like you can kiss her, <laughs> and I come close and say oh. And she like left. <laughs> <laughs> but I never even knew that he was trying to kiss me. But honestly, I'm glad that the the opportunity never presented itself yeah. really. But he he says that my body language the whole first date we were having a conversation, but my body language towards him was very like closed off. Yeah. So, and I wasn't ready to like kiss anybody. But it's that's a, like a cultural difference for us as well. We found out later yeah. that like. In oh. Brazil, no, we have a lot of things for tell you guys about the difference of the culture. True. Uh, maybe we can tell something in the next video. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk a lot about cultural differences and what we were expecting on our first day and, and what how, actually happened. How we give our first kiss. Yeah, yeah it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, stay tuned. So, next video, we will talk about some difference of our culture. Yeah. And our first kiss <laughs> <laughs> was funny. <laughs>
He's so cute. <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching leave a comment don't forget like subscribe and see you soon in the next video yeah we'll see you next time <laughs> bye. bye guys